It's the kind of beat to go. Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is way too long to say and pronounce, but I'm gonna pretend like I said anyway. And this video is gonna be showing you how to get really good armor extremely early in the game. Now, the armor is gonna be either the crimson armor or the shadow armor, and that just depends on what body. Now, before we can actually go and get the armor, we're gonna need a couple items, and um, these items aren't too difficult to get, really. All, we're, all we really need is some wood, stone, leather, iron, and cobweb. And I'll have the exact amount you need there on the screen there. Now these items are fairly simple to obtain. They're really not that difficult to get at all. And the reason we need them is so that we can set spawn points and, you know, build our armor. Just basic stuff. Now right here you can see in the background that my world seems to have the, the crimson armor. And in my opinion, I think it's better than the corruption to be honest and the reason for that is just because I prefer the crimson armor over the shadow arm there's just something about regenerating health that I like you know I, I don't know I just like to regenerate health I don't like to lose health now right here you see me get in picking up some cobweb from a cave I found it's really cobweb is probably one of the more challenging items to get out of all of the ones I mentioned all of the ones I mentioned but it's really not that difficult to get at all now after you have all of your items, all you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the Crimson or Corruption Biome, whatever you have, uh, and you're going to want to set your spawn point there, and it's really not that difficult to do, you know, you just make yourself a little house. If you want to know how big this house of mine is that I'm building right here, it's 6 tall and 10, 10 wide. Um, I think that's the minimum requirement to build a house and set your spawn point. But yeah, that's it, that's, you know, essentially what I did, and... Right here you can just see me building the crafting items that you need I guess you can say. Because really to set our spawn point we need a bed and to build a bed we need a loom and to make a loom we need a sawmill and to make a sawmill we need an anvil and to make an anvil we need a workbench so you know how that goes. After you set your spawn point all you're going to want to do is go out and kill the crimson mobs. Now the crimson mobs have chance to buy to drop the what's called the vertebrae, and we need that vertebrae to summon the brain of Cthulhu. Now I did decide to make myself a lead sword just to make it a little bit faster for me to kill the mobs. I, you know, it's not necessary to make a better sword than a wooden one, but it is recommended because you know the, just it's, the wooden sword is just so terrible. The beginning sword. That's why I decided to make a better sword. But you know, like I said, it's not really necessary if you don't if you don't either have the items necessary to make a sword or you just simply don't want to build one. It's not necessary at all. Now after you've killed enough crimson mobs and you have at least 15 vertebrae, you can finally build your bloody bloody spine. And with this you can just simply summon the Brain of Cthulhu. And there it is right there. And all you really have to do to the to defeat it is just swing your sword like crazy. I mean it doesn't really matter if you die because you're just going to be spawning right there. Just the only thing I want to mention is try to spawn as fast as you can because if you take a while to spawn in, the brain of Cthulhu is going to just fly off because it sees it nobody. But yeah, just spawn in as quick as you can and just swing your sword like crazy until he's dead and after about 5 minutes or so, he's going to be dead. It's, it doesn't even take that much to be honest. And he's gonna drop a bunch of tissue and a bunch of criminite ore, I think it's called. And with this, you can make your criminite bar. And with the bars, you'll be able to make yourself your weapons and your armor. Though I do recommend you make weapons first because only killing the Brain of Cthulhu once isn't gonna be enough to get you a full set of armor and weapons. You're gonna have to kill them about three or four times. And so I just recommend you making weapons first so that it'll be a little, a little bit easier to defeat next time you fight the Brain of Cthulhu or the Eater of Worlds. And like I said, the, this strategy works on either boss, so, you know, it's just the same thing for the Corruption Biome. And yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope it was helpful, and thank you guys so much for watching.